Now, the Ashanti region police have moved to Santasi Kokobin to investigate the robbery incident uh, that led to the death of a private security guard. This is the latest in the series of robbery incidents and gruesome murders in the region. We'll bring you more on this particular story shortly. But first, let's take a look at a catalog of incidents reported uh, from the Ashanti region this year alone. And so, in the month of February this year, uh, we had an incident of a financial service firm that C SSL Enterprise being robbed at Bokrom Estate Junction in Kumasi. The suspect, we, it was a robbery gang that carried out this incident. And the impact of this attack was that a staff of the company, Collins Dapa, sustained severe injuries from gunshots uh, during the incident. He later died, sadly. Uh, we do not have an update on this story. Now, it, later in June, two gold dealers were shot and robbed of their gold and money at Manso uh, Mosikrom in the Amansia South District uh, for a gold heist. Uh, also, the suspects in this incident, four suspected robbers. Um, of course, obviously, uh, this was uh, a blow to the gold dealer. The police moved in to quell the situation, but we do not have an update on, on, on the story yet. Then later in June, Resident of uh, the acting chief of uh, Manson Tontokrom was attacked with guns and machete. This was carried out by irate youth uh, in the month of June. Now, later in the month of July, uh, we reported the incident of a decapitated body found at uh, Feyase. Now, the man was identified as Israel J. Menu, and he was said to be an Uber driver and a head teacher of a private school in Tonsu. And so this is what happened in July. Uh, still in July, uh, we had an incident of a 24-year-old Angelina Juma attacked uh, at uh, Maxima Junction in Kumasi. Uh, this was carried out by armed robbers. Uh, she was shot and killed. Uh, in that very incident in July. Now, in the month of September, we brought you the story of a final year student of Upon Memorial, SHS Richard Apia, uh, who was stabbed. My colleague, Ohimentaria, uh, followed up on this story for us. This was carried out by some youth of the Kokofu Township. And of course, this led to the death of a student there. Uh, the update we have on this story is that three teenagers have been arrested uh, in connection with the murder. And later, of course, in this month of October, we brought you the story of a Tunsu branch of the Adansi Rural Bank in Kumasi being attacked. This was carried out by armed robbers. And we know that a 37-year-old uh, private security, Alex Opon 24, was shot in that particular incident. He was later found dead, uh, sadly, uh, the following morning with his hands and legs tied behind him. Also in the month of October, uh, this incident, uh, a man was attacked by three people in two days um, after he saw his best friend dating his fiancée in a dream. And, and this was a story that got uh, many of you worried. One of the three died after enduring pains from machete wounds. This was carried out by a 47-year-old man, uh, Kwejo Eduse. And also still in this month, uh, we brought you the story. This was just uh, last week, a story of a pregnant woman, uh, you know, at Nyanchenyase, uh, who stabbed multiple times, who was stabbed multiple times by his husband in the presence of their six-year-old son. And of course, the suspect here, 44-year-old Maxwell Buedu, and um, he has been arrested by the police. This incident, of course, led to the death of the uh, pregnant woman. And then the very final story we brought to you uh, this month, also a woman inflicted with machete wounds uh, in the head and lower abdomen of her son in the presence of uh, three other children. Of course, the victim identified as a 30-year-old Hannah Ikia Efriye. This led to the death of the... Uh, victim the suspect rather is hannah and the, this incident led to the death of the victim and we know that uh, there have been some arrests made and the suspect has been referred to the Ankafo uh, psychiatric hospital for assessment so uh, these are the stories we brought to you in the ashanti region as far as uh, murders and also uh, criminal uh, incidents are concerned the latest is the santasi kokobin incident and the night security guard 49 year old Busompe Ando was found with stab wounds and his hands tied behind him at his duty post. The robbers are alleged to have bolted with the cash 
of 97,000 CDs and a power generator from two shops they robbed. Erastus Isari Donko has more in this report. The late Ando Bosompim washed vehicles in the day and worked as a night security man. I've worked with him for 10 years. We've all been here washing vehicles. We understand that when they came in this morning, this iron garage gate had been broken and was suspended up here. The door has also been forcibly opened. You could see blood on the f uh, floor in front of the shop here, uh, signaling that they might have killed him in front of the shop and dragged him inside the shop because the body was found lying in here with blood spread all over the floor of the shop here. Oti Steven is manager of A2 Enterprise, dealers in aluminium products. I was told this morning that robbers have broken into my shop. When they called me, I told them to call the police. The gates had been opened when we got in. My security man had been killed and dragged inside the office. He was lying in this pool of blood. They took away a safe containing money and a power generator. But when they found him, his hands had been tied with a piece of cloth, which is lying in front here. And then he had been gagged in the mouth with a scarf, which is also lying here with blood on it. And there was blood all over the floor, as you can see right now. So the body was lying over here. Upstairs, the suspected robbers are alleged to have broken into this private ECG and Ghana water vending shop and made away with eight thousand cities. Maxwell Menu is the attendant here. They stole monies valued at 8,000 cities. They include ECG and Ghana water funds stored in these drawers. This is what we have gathered so far. The police have been here. They've taken the body away. And investigations have begun. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Kumasi. Let's speak to a security analyst, Adam Buna. He joins us live via Zoom. Mr. Buna, thank you for joining us here on Joy News Prime. So the crimes we catalog uh, tell a story of violent crimes being perpetrated by armed men or gangs, and then the gruesome murders that are domestic in nature. Uh, what's your take on these incidents and the approach of the police? Oh well, yeah, good evening, uh, Ernest, and good evening to your viewers. Well, you see, uh, the crimes were catalogued. I'm looking at them from two different, you know, angles. You will have those that are grouped under, call them, you know, domestic violence, where, uh, you know, uh, persons are killed by persons who know them or persons who are closely related to them. Uh, you, you, there is one, a mother uh, returned from church and butchering the son, uh, a friend going, you know, sleeping and dreaming that somebody was sleeping with their wife and killing, you know, the friend and, you know, a husband killing the wife. There's been a series of these incidents. So you, you, I, will, I will categorize those ones into one pot. Uh, in that particular pot, it is very difficult to, uh, you know, and I believe in all of these cases, the police have apprehended uh, the suspected, you know, uh, murderers, those who are suspected to have killed these persons. Mm. It is something that is difficult to prevent. The police would not be able to prevent it apart from arresting persons who are involved. The other way of preventing it would be a coordinated effort between the police research unit. 
Some okay. of us have advocated that the police has, you know, a research unit, which is headed by, you know, a senior police officer. Uh, my take on this is that some of these people might have uh, some, you know, uh, psychological uh, challenges and therefore would need some uh, rehabilitation. Some of them are committing these crimes because a preacher man, you know, told them somebody is after them. But until such a time that the police is able to, you know, collect data, how did this person die? Maybe data 20 years, you know, uh, you know uh, away till today. How these murders have taken place, domestic, domestic violence, that, lead, that led to people dying. Who are the people involved? What okay. gender are they? Mm -hmm. What age category do they belong to? Mm -hmm. What is their level of education? We need to know all this. It helps to target the kind of preventative measures that must be put in place. But as we speak, I believe that the new police administration, as we have started well, would have to take a look again at their research unit. Then mm -hmm. the other part has to deal with the, you know, call them the pure uh, robbery, violent robbery that has led to people dying. I say that majority of it has to do with probably the way culturally we have lived. Okay. We have lived culturally as a people who have been brought up to carry cash. So you go into a shop and you want to go and buy produce. You are carrying 50,000 Ghana CDs. And the shop attendants would willingly take the 50,000 Ghana CDs from you without asking questions. Mm -hmm. You are bringing me 50,000 around 5.30 when I'm about closing. When you know the money cannot, I cannot be taken to back, I would have to leave it here or carry it home or transit the money home. And in all these processes, I might be robbed and I could die. Mm. People willingly take the money. And I say it is culturally uh, self-inflicted. Okay. I have advocated that. Why can't most of these shops, if you notice, the young man who died, uh, you know, they robbed two places. One day, according to sources, your report, they had almost 100,000 Ghana mm. The The ECG vending shop, they had 8,000 Ghana cities. And according to the owner of the ECG vending shop, they did not touch the computers and all that. And, and, and so you think that we should change our approach to business, our approach to life? Uh, that will be a solution. But how should the police tackle it, especially when it comes to the banks? So we have seen that uh, timelines to provide armored vehicles, for instance, have not been heeded. Well, they haven't been heeded because some of us kept, uh, you know, talking about these things. Fortunately, like I did mention, there's a new police administration headed by Dampari, the Kufu Dampari, and you can see they've already, you know, outdoored the horse unit, you know, the, the mounted squadron who are in town, I saw them today, and they've outdoored again the K-9 unit. K-9 mm. unit is a very important segment of crime fighting in every country because the K-9s are able, when trained with the handling, are able to detect firearms, mini ammunition. They are able to detect drugs. They are even trained to detect those who are carrying mm. uh, stolen money and all that. Okay, and but, so but Mr. Bonner, that you talked about... To really look at you, you talked about right. preventive policing uh, in the earlier instance, especially those that have to do with the domestic ones. Uh, would, would it be within the purview of the, uh, would the police be acting within the remit of the law? Uh, should they, you know, address issues, moving to address issues that, for instance, border on the psyche of the people? Does this find expression in the national security strategy? Yes, th there, is, th there is a portion like that, the national security strategy, but it is not very detailed. Obviously, the document... Uh, it's work in progress, so but it's not very detailed. It is because of lack of data. If there is enough data collected by the various security agencies, that would inform how, what the strategy would look like in the National Security Strategic Policy document. Okay. And so as far as I'm concerned, the police, it's also a part of policing to mm. ensure that the people, you know, psychologically feel okay, psychologically, they wouldn't harm themselves. Very and well. some of, I, I think... They are working with the Ghana Psychological Association. Mm -hmm. In the past, they have given them some assistance here and there. And so I think it calls for some, you know, uh, coordinated effort at ensuring that at the various district police commands, they would, you know, increase the effort at, you know, Very trying well. to get people first-hand counseling. 
and also regional commanders. Some mm -hmm. regional commanders are not doing well. And so I'm sure in the next coming weeks, some of us are going to start mentioning them by name. Those Very well. So leadership at all job. the levels to address this. Mr. Bona, I'm grateful that you could join us here on Join News Prime. That's a security analyst, Adam Bona, on the crimes we have witnessed in the Ashanti region.